out of all of you, how many of you are a lot into negotiations? To create that comfort, comfort zone, what questions do you ask? But do you know there are a lot of people who believe that small talks not, are not important? So in, instead of ke, use that. Number one. Number two, I want you to speak slowly. Get the ball rolling. Right. What's the meaning of get the ball rolling right away? Whatever Salman is representing, I'm in. Because it's not the company that I'm looking at, it's Salman. Do you think how do you do is the right sentence to say? Because I'm not a stranger anymore, right? I, we met yesterday, so I'm good, thank you very much. How about you? So you have to wait for the other person to give that reply, all right? So tell me, most of you, what are you enthusiastic about? Enthusiast, oh, you're okay. Enthusiast about learning? Learning about what? Business communication skills. Business communication skills. And where are you from? You're from Lahore. Okay, that's great. So I'm enthusiastic about eating, and I have mentioned it yesterday. Not just medicines, but food as well. <laughs> okay, now that you know, so tell me. How often do you have to negotiate with the um, clients? Do you negotiate with clients? Yes. Okay, so let's see now, where do we negotiate? What is negotiation? Can you say the word negotiate? Negotiate. 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 Negotiation. Negotiation. Right, so what is the wrong word that we say normally? Negotiation. So, we, you must have heard negotiation. No. 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 Okay. A lot of people. Yes. A lot of people say negotiation, which is of course no word. The right word is Negotiation. negotiations. Where and why do you have negotiations with your clients? In every month, in everything, like when we are buying clothes, when we are going for a discount, or we are going for a sale. Sorry. To attract your customer and to retain the customer, right? Okay, to build, to to win the client and then to retain it. That's wonderful. So, who does? Mo if can you raise hand? Out of all of you, how many of you are a lot into negotiations? One, two, three. So why? Why do you have to negotiate a lot? Ah, that come to me, that come to me. So again, because we're talking about a routine, so which tense do we have to use? Simple. Present simple. We, we cannot use past tense in that because you do it as a routine. So, oh, so you negotiate with the uh, candidates that, okay, so this is the salary, this is decorative, stay and join us. And then with the management, I need this person, so please try to, and what about you, darling? Mm -hmm. I have a national level team. Mm -hmm. Along with that, I have to negotiate with uh, doctors and to retain my customers, to develop my customers. Okay, so let's say I'm a doctor. Yeah. How do you initiate a negotiation? First of all, one of my representatives will uh, approach you and he will give you a brief introduction regarding my products. Then I'll go and I'll have a chit chat, uh, like routine chit chat, because as you know, my representative has already. already you are in touch with my representative. I will just start with uh, greetings and I will say, as you know. Oh, that's a very good thing that you have just said. When you meet a person for the first time, in shape of a client now, we're not at metro station anymore. So let's talk to a client. So, and you're about to start business talk. So, Assalamu alaikum, sir. My name is Mehvi Sultan and I'm from Dyson and these are my medicines. Are you interested? Is that how we should go? Not at all, okay, sir. Assalamu alaikum, I'm from Dyson, my name is Mevish. Uh, do you use medicines, sir? No. Oh dear, nothing works. Then how? Greetings? Yeah, greetings. Why greetings? Why do we greet? I mean, we have done Assalamu alaikum, how are you, sir? So we have to make a comfort zone for both of us. You have to create a comfort zone. 
Do you know what, so to create that comfort, comfort zone, what questions do you ask? For example, you said how, green. How, how, how are you? How is your practice going? How is your practice going? Is everything fine? How has your day been? All right, how is your day going? How has your day been? So two questions, and, and anything else? Do you know what is it called in business term? It's called a small talk. A small talk. So you make a small talk with the client, and the client responds. Now why are we making the small talk, as the young lady has mentioned, to create a report? to build trust, and to create a comfort zone between the two parties. But do you know there are a lot of people who believe that small talks are not, are not important? What do you think? Are they important? Okay. I'm going to give you a minute. I want you to flip the copy and see where the small talk is. And... Okay. <clears throat> Page number 10, right? I want these all people to read page number 10. A quick read. And these all to read page number 11. Which page are you going to read? 11. Page number 11. Which page are you going to read? 10. 10. So you have two minutes for that. A quick read. Now, those who have read, can they prepare a summary of it? Because they haven't read what you are reading. and Or you have read and... You haven't read or you don't know what they have read. So we're going to have one person from here and one person from here to exchange information. Got it? And from this side, I'm going to ask that young lady over there. Yeah. OK, so yes, prepare a two to three line summary of what you have read. And from here, who would like to volunteer? I would like you to use the language that they have used. Use the phrases and evidences, OK? So we have two people from this side, two from this side. Come, come here. Okay, so you two are going to be here. You two there. All right. So please fill us in. Tell us. Tell us what you have read. Tell them. Don't, not me. Because they have not read what you have. So just tell us why, what does your passage say? Is small talk important or not important? Uh, while we're starting the, uh, this uh, paragraph, go through, starting is the small talk is important. Starting I'm sorry, I important. couldn't, couldn't small get your, talk. small talk is? Small talk is important. To begin, to begin a meeting. Begin the, this paragraph, uh, just go through the paragraph, it said small talk is, imp is, is important. Mm -hmm. Why? We start, uh, first of all, we download the stopwatch and count the people, how many people are uh, dusting to uh, attend the meeting. Number of person is important to calculate the cost for the, that particular meeting. Okay, how many people are coming in the particular meeting? Is Can you not say K, K when you're conversing in English? So in, instead of K, use that, number one. Number two, I want you to speak slowly. Once you end a sentence, I want you to stop. When I read this paragraph, I came to know that small talk is not very important. Why? Let me tell you. So you come up with chunks of sentences because we are trying to process and digest the information, right? So you have to give us time. And how would you do that? Pauses. 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 Please. I start just from the beginning or the continue? Should I start from the beginning or? A uh, no, where you stopped? Where you stopped? I stopped. Uh, first, we download the uh, stopwatch to calculate the time. Okay, how many? That, so that it's how, okay. We're learning. No problem. No problem at all. How many persons are going to be attending the particular meeting? We're not wasting a time for particular person that coming late to attend the meeting. So we should not. Should we wait for the late comer, or we shouldn't? We should not wait for the late comers because it's every time, every second is counting about the cost. Is we, okay. Every second is is a cost. Is a cost. We okay. We can't wait for that particular cost for anybody oh. else is coming late. Slow, slow. Why did he not come to the meeting on time? Why did he not come? Why did why he did, not come? Why did he not come to time to attend the meeting or session? 
Okay. Everybody already communicated that bidding is beginning to start on 10 p.m. If everybody was gi given the time, then why the other person came late? Okay. So why else small talk is not important? Please tell us. Thank you, sir. So. What I uh, understand from this, from this thing, a small talk is not important in the business meeting. Okay. It is a wastage of time. Tell them. They want to know. They haven't read. I'm going to read. This is a wastage of time. So if you want to prepare for the meeting, they have told you agenda how to prepare for that meeting. So first of all, everyone should come on time, so that there should be not a wastage of time. The, the time is money. You have heard this phrase every day. Time is money. And the second thing, you should prepare before the meeting. The agenda which you are going to discuss in the meeting, mm. that should be prepared before they arrive, so that whenever they arrive at the meeting, you should hand over the agenda to them, just like we got this, mm -hmm. so that everyone can have a should be prepared what we are going to talk about and can come can come up with some points related to it so great and the second thing when he has the agenda try all of them to talk within that agenda don't go outside that agenda just to save the time all right so we are saving time so small talk no small talk save time latecomers don't wait for them just enter in the meeting room start with the meeting Get the ball rolling right away. Get the ball rolling right away. What's the meaning of get the ball rolling right away? Start with the main topic. Okay, and uh, if somebody tries to hijack your meeting and goes, you know, beyond the topic, no, bring that person back. Bring the conversation back to the topic. All and right. The thing they have mentioned is that there should be time frame. There should be end of time, which is mentioned before that meeting. All right. So set a time period. Set a time period so that everyone should know that we have to finalize our agenda topic within that time limit. Right. Wonderful. This Thank you for both of the gentlemen here. Have a seat, sir. Now you two are going to enlighten them. They don't know what you have read. So please tell them. Shall I go first? Please. Anybody? Contrary to what these two men said, my topic is a little bit different. My topic is in support of small talk. So the first line of this topic, which I've read, is 50% of business communication is small talk. What small talk is that they say that you need to build relationships with your customers and ask questions from them, sort their problems, but no. Small talk is more than that. For small talk, that says that you need to know more of your colleagues. That's what the lady said, that you need to develop that comfort bond with your colleagues. And how small talk is going to happen. They say, they have given two examples that is it going to happen outside of your working space? Like you, you meet somebody in the restaurant, mm -mm, not comfortable and not feasible, even especially for the females. Or you develop that small talk on the laptop screen, that's still not acceptable because you have to other you have other stuff to do. Hard time on small talk, neither something. So how it happens, it happens casually. When you meet somebody at a coffee place, at a restaurant, uh, you meet your business partner randomly there, then it happens casually. This is what they have said. And next they said, they have given the example of a meeting. That suppose you are in a meeting and a presentation is happening there. So it's not about discussing only the meeting. If the person is talking only about the agenda and the meeting, it is not called a meeting. That is just mere a presentation. When you go off the track, like this lady, lady goes outside the track, you know, you talk some funny things, you talk, talk about random stuff, how the other person is doing, you talk about some, you know, out of the context things. This is when you develop that your business and you develop your comfort rather than just sticking to the meeting and just sticking to that only though your meeting agendas. That makes the person bored. All right. Thank you very much, darling. And I would like you to continue. She has skipped anything. Can you please fill yeah, us in? Uh, I very much agree with her. Uh, I agree with her. Yeah. I agree with her. I agree with her. Mm -hmm. uh, you should need uh, um, sometimes, uh, I think, 25 to 50 percent involvement should be there. Mm -hmm. Some small talks. Okay. Are, uh, for a business relationship, we need it. Mm -hmm. uh, not uh, when you are talking about uh, uh, your official discussions, but it can happen during your, uh, I, uh, you can say in a relaxed time, whenever you uh, get around uh, uh, for a coffee or tea or in a meeting, 
or if you um, uh, have some time for discussion, just make, uh, uh, make room for small talk. Or, yeah, for make small room for a small talk. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Thank you. That was brilliant. Which approach do you agree with personally now? No small talk or small talk? But do you think that, as the gentleman said, that every minute count, every minute, every minute counts, and time is money? And when you go to a client for a one-to-one -one talk to win business, we don't have time for small talk, and it is gonna waste our money the other way around. So, absolutely correct. You need to tell the client, "I'm not just here for Dyson." I take you as a human as well, and I'm willing to build a personal relationship because that personal relationship is long lasting. I'm there for you even if Dyson isn't there. So we are going to have a long term relationship, right? And then you. I think so. one thing I must add over here. Please. We start with just talking with the, our agenda to meet with our doctor. I've come here for the. I doctor. have come here. I have come here to make a sales or make a sales deal with you. Hmm. Doctor feel that ke, such a greedy person he is, na? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense ke, how to greed, how to Absolutely. Make comfortable zone to talk Absolutely. To Absolutely. If you have won the trust and if you're able to build, the, uh, build a good relationship with your client, even in the last two minutes you say, so sir, coming back to the business, let's get the ball rolling. I'm from Dyson, this is the medicine. If you believe, that this works, so whatever your approach is. But before that, the small talk that you had, if you have won the person, he's gonna, okay, sir, yeah, whatever you have got it, I'm in. Yeah. Because I trust you, I see that you're a genuine person. So he might not like to know what Dyson is or what your medicine is, what are the rates, because you have already won one the more, person, right? One more, one more thing, please. Please, please, of course. We're really concerned with, with, with the doctor in the, in the field as well. Doctors have the trust on ourselves. They believe he on us. us. The doctors so, have trust on us. Okay. Have trust on us because Salman is coming from many years back, and we have the trust with the relation. Right. Whatever the company behind the Salman, you know, Salman is regular and have trustworthy with me has small talk and a good relationship. That Salman is trustworthy, and I have a long relationship of ten years with him. So even if it's not, whatever Salman is representing, I'm in. Yeah. Because it's not the company that I'm looking at, it's Salman. It's the, it's the person and the relationship he has built. So yes, small talk for me too, as you must have noticed, I always initiate small talk, not only in the beginning, in the middle, uh, wherever I feel like, just to tell you that you're not mere learners for me. We, I would like to have a long-term relationship and I take you as good human beings, people that I would like to connect with. Right? I would like you to please look at <clears throat> quickly. We did tenses yesterday. If you could open page number 12, I'm going to give you a minute and tell me what would come in the blanks. Have you all got page number 12? Yes. Just a minute. Please do read the heading asking about current projects. It's not talking about routine. It's talking about things that are happening right now. So which tense? Present, Present, Present continuous. If you look at the second one, asking about recent events. Recent events. Things from the past till right now. Perfect tense, right? We might end up using present simple also depending on the sentence. But because we're talking about right now, from the past till right now, it, has, it should be a perfect tense. Then, asking about news. The news that has happened till now. Yes, perfect or past, all right? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have, and the third form of verb, have you, so which tense is that? Perfect tense, all right? Asking about Plans and predictions? Future. Future. So now you can fill it in. Yes, darling, from you. Asking about current projects. So what did you write? What? Let him, let him answer. Please let him answer. Yes. 
What are you going on at the moment? Going on. What is going on? Let him answer, please. What? What? What are you doing on? So when we use the word doing, we do not use any preposition then. What are you doing these days? What are you doing? Okay. Are you doing your homework? So we do not put any preposition after the word verb doing. No, I'm afraid it's not correct. Anybody else? What about you? Yeah? What have you bought? What, what have you got on? Do you think it's correct? What have you got on? Got on. No. What are you working on? What are you working on? So we have our present continuous tense. What are you working no working on at the moment? Then number two. How is it going with your new assignment? Please remember these sentence structures because afterwards when we have role play to do, I want you to use these tailored structures, okay? Because they have no grammatical error and it's easier normally because we are, when we talk to people in a flow as you people were here too, or in general conversation, because we're also processing the language and we are translating it from Urdu to English and so much, so much is going on. So we end up using a lot of the everywhere. I like the talk, the, so the, 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 right? So we need to reduce the use of the, number one, number two. We end up using or putting S everywhere. Though we know that people is already plural, but still we say people's, children's, okay? Oh, now, so how is it going with your new assistant? Number three. So, okay, you see, we said earlier that we are going to use present continuous. So we are only going to use is, am, are, not have, has. Because have, has, as auxiliary verbs, as helping verbs, as verbs to be, very good, we use them in the perfect tenses. So is, am, are for present, continuous. So are you making any progress? Very good. Asking about recent events. Past tense, maybe. Past tense, maybe. Or pref, so. How was your presentation? How was your presentation going last week? Do you think it would make sense? How was it going that? So, no. How gone your? How was your presentation gone? No. Think, think, think. How did your presentation go? Right? Because we are using the present simple tense here. So we'll use the did form. How did your presentation go? Can I have more sentences following the same structure? How did your meeting go with the client? How, how did? How did your project go last year? All right. Then, see the verb to be? How was your, how was your business trip? When did? When did you get back? When did you? So now, which helping verb did they use? Which verb did? Which verb to be did they use? Did, did, was, did. Okay. So let's have it again. How was? How did your presentation go? How was your business trip? When did you get back? So recent events, past simple. Asking about news. What's new? Perfect tense. Now you can use your perfect tense, have and has. Have you? Have you heard back? Heard back from the potential big client customer yet? Use have and then see. Use have. What have you been? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? 
in your department. What have you been up to in your department? Okay, so let's talk about future now. I couldn't get a single answer. <laughs> They will finally sign the contract. So because we know for future we use will, they will finally sign the contract. Will you go to the conference this weekend? Will you go to the conference this weekend? Are you going to the conference? Yes, because do you remember I told you yesterday we can use present continuous for future events. When do you think they are finally signing the contract? So when they will find finally sign they are finally signing are you going to the conference will you go to the conference will you be going to the conference that's correct that's correct will you be going okay that's correct why we didn't use would would you go to the conference <clears throat> what's the difference mm -hmm. okay so let me tell you that Conditional sentences. No. Conditional sentences always start with if, right? So now, but you're close. What you're trying to say is there's a possibility. possibility. That's what you wanted to say. So when I say, so let's have this sentence. Would you go to the party with me? Would you go to the dinner with me? So you're giving me a chance to say no. I'm just asking your opinion if you want to go or not. And I say, oh, I would rather not. It means I am not sure that I am I'm shaky. I would rather head home, you know? And then you say, food is good and it's for free. And then, okay, I'll go. <laughs> I will go. I'm sure that I will accompany you. So will is when we're sure normally, and would is when you want to give it a chance, and you're not sure, or you are sure. So that's the difference between will and would. Normally, these are, you know, such rules. We used to have shall, I shall look into it. All right, I shall call you on um, at my earliest. Now these are all redundant, unfortunately. Such formal language, the use of formal language has gone old. We don't do it anymore. So will and would is continuously used wherever you want to, but would should be used when you're shaky, when you're 50-50. I would rather head home. Means there is no incentive, incentive though. I will come. So I will come. <laughs> <laughs> I will come. That's great. Next page has answers. Pairs, pairs, pairs. It's a pair activity. Okay, are three people sitting together? Three, trio. So one of you would open up page number, um, this page, the next, your partner would open this page. These are all questions, can you see? These are all answers. Quickly match, quickly match. <laughs> one of you will open the questions the other person will open the answers and you have to match all right so for question number one people what do you think ah. okay question number one question number one okay let's see Question number one says, what are you working on at the moment? What's the answer, H? Yes. We are about to start working on the new marketing plan. It's not due to be launched. All right, any, uh, any other answer beside H? Yeah. B. B, B, B? Yes. So B says, Absol absolutely, what are you working on? Absolutely, I'm giving a presentation. Absolutely, what are you doing? Absolutely, I'm listening. No, no. Does it make sense? No. no, I'm listening. What are you doing? I'm listening. So that, so, okay, beside B, I. I. We, okay, what are you work, what is, what are you, okay, and we have been really busy. So is this structure same? No. Because here, what are you working on? And the answer says, we have been really busy. So we are really busy. So I'm sorry that I would not go here as well. Any other option? C. C. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All 
All right, what are you working on these days? Uh, nothing really. Nothing ever changes. Busy as usual. No. Mm, oh, I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write it just in case, okay? Let's look at question number two very quickly. How is it going with your new assistant? F. 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 That is F. Not bad, actually. He's on a sleep learning, <coughs> steep learning, steep learning curve, but he is trying hard. He's got, yes, it is number F. Steep learning curve. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful phrase. He's on a steep learning curve, okay? So when you're learning something and picking up things, picking up things, so what else can you use? Learning the ropes. Can you say it? Learning the ropes. Can you say it? Learning the ropes. Rope. Is your new employee learning the ropes? Yes. Yes, she's learning the ropes. I think she's very good. That she's picking up. She's learning our systems or how to talk and whatever. Uh -uh. She's not even trying to learn the ropes. All right? So it's a beautiful, easy phrase to learn that you're picking up. My child is just not learning the ropes for robotics. I don't know what is he struggling with. So you're struggling with something, you're not putting in effort, so you're not learning the ropes. You're trying, so, oh God, this new job is difficult. It is going to take me time to learn the ropes, to learn the ropes, learning the ropes, lovely. So he, <clears throat> all right, are you making any progress with your new project? Yes, J, J. J, 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 yes. They emailed us this morning with an order from, I'll write it, but I'm not sure. J, I, and? Okay, and? Oh, wow, <laughs> and? E, E, okay, okay, enough. Enough, <laughs> let's see. Okay, so let's start with J. Um, let's start with I. Let's look at the question. Let's see the tense that we're using. Are you making any progress? Are you making any progress? Now let's look at number I. We have, we have been really busy preparing for next week's quality inspection. We are nearly, we are nearly ready, but there are still a few big jobs to finish. Number H, we are about to start working on the new marketing plan. It's not due to be launched. We are about to start working. What are you? Are you making any progress with the big project? We are about to start working on the new marketing plan. It's okay. A, a little. Are you making any progress? A little, but it's very slow. We are still tied up with the financing side of things. So what is, prob what is the problem with A? A. It is the same tense, right? Yes. Okay. Very quickly, let's look at number four. How, was your how did your presentation go last week? G. 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 G, really well. We had a good turnout and some people said nice things about it. Whether anyone uh, actually buys the product, yes, it is G, very good. And what about number five? How, did your, how was your business trip? What did you, when did you get back? G. D, 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 D. It was useful, but exhausting. I just got back. Okay, that's easy. It is D. <clears throat> What's new? Of course, nothing's new. Seven. But what about six? What's new? C, C, ah, nothing really. Nothing ever changes. Busy as usual. C is, it seems good, right? Have you heard back from the big potential customer yet? And what have you been up to in your department? J. Hmm. J. J. Yes, they emailed us this morning with an order of 500 units. It looks like they're going ahead. Any other option besides J? No. No. Okay. Have you heard back? Okay, so when do you think they're finally signing the contract? Yes. E? Yes. Next week, hopefully, but they are still not happy with our service changes, so it might still, 
It, so it might still at fall through. OK, so you think it's E. And the last one is, are you going to the conference this weekend? B. 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 B, absolutely. I'm giving a presentation. I'm nervous about it, actually. So did you notice that the same tense structure was used? Please make sure that you always do that. We have only 10 minutes. Oh, dear. OK, before, because. Somebody who is very energetic, somebody who is always enthusiastic. How many of you in your company are like this? People who are always on the go. Let me do it. Let me call. Have you done this thing? Do you have people like this? Yeah. Such people? OK, how many? Raise your hands or point to your friend. Point out your friend who's very <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Myself, very good. Very good. I can, I can see that. I can see that. Yes. I can see that. I can see that. Yes, yes. People? OK, and? No. <laughs> people who are very energetic. OK, so you can use this thing for your client also. Sir, even if it's not true, sir, you're all, I always see you on the ball. Such good to see that. So good to see that. It means you're very active. You're very enthusiastic. You're very energetic. So you go to a client. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you again. And I always see you. On the ball. I always see you on the ball. On the ball. On the ball. It means so ball is always rolling. So you can you be still? No. <laughs> no, ball cannot stay still. So you're always on the ball, sir. So good to see you. That's a very powerful and energetic start because you are appreciating somebody and you're flattering. So the person might like it, right? And you're talking to a client. So please learn the ropes. Sorry. Learning the ropes, learn the ropes, and on the, ball. on the ball. All right. Very good. You started off with a client. You did very well. And now everything has somehow, unfortunately, the deal didn't go through. OK, so you're going to start from zero. What other words can you use for it? I'll have to start from the scratch. I'll have to start from the scratch. I'm back to square one. Uh-oh, you know, our new project has our, our new um, advertisement campaign has failed. So we are, really? We have to start again? Mm -hmm. We are back on, we're back to square one. We are back to square one. We are back to square one. We are back to square one. No, karo yaar, really? Mm -hmm. We are back to square one. We are back to square one. So, learning the ropes? On the ball. Back to square one. So, but what about the new project now? You know, we were talking about the other release. Oh, no. Put it on the back burner. Put it on the back burner. So, chula hota hai. Chule mein do aage hai. Burners, do piche hai, right? So the ladies would be able to relate with that. Jo cheez humne us chivak cook karni hai, jiski to wo ham bilkul front wale pe. Or jo phir pak gaya hai, usko dam pe rakhna usko piche pe. So you're dealing with this thing. It needs your urgent attention. So no, 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 no. We we are back to square one. We have to deal this first. Put the other projects on the back burner. On the back burner. Can you write it down? Because before you go, I'm gonna. Have you people do the role play? Client, the person. Client, the person. On the back burner. On the back burner. Put it on the back burner. No, you cannot put it on the back burner. Its deadline is just tomorrow. Right? We cannot put this thing on the back burner. So you, you will have to put it on the back burner. So sir, can I put this one on the back burner and deal with this one? So there are different ways where you use it. So we are back to back to square one means starting from the scratch. Now we scratch card. So we'll have to scratch again another card. So we'll have to scratch again another card. So back. So we are starting. We'll have to start from the scratch. Scratch. When we make a house, we start from the dirt. So start from the So all of it is related. So we are starting from scratch. Zero. We start from zero. 
ठीक है एंड दी अदर वन वॉज ऑन द बॉल येस ऑन द बॉल एंड इफ आई एम डूइंग इफ आई एम लर्निंग इफ आई ज्वाइन डाइसन और मुझे मेडिसिन की कुछ समझ नहीं आ रही मुझे कुछ याद नहीं हो रहा तो आई एम आई एम लर्निंग द रोप्स I'm not even trying to learn the ropes. I'm not learning the ropes. I'm not learning the ropes. मैं नहीं अच्छा काम कर रही. मैं नहीं अच्छी try कर रही. मैं नहीं pick up कर पा रही हूँ. नए system के साथ, नए चीजों के साथ. So I'm not cooping up, right? So I'm not learning the ropes. But अगर मैं बहुत जल्दी pick up कर रही हूँ, अच्छा इस medicine का ये है, अच्छा ये ऐसे system चलता है. इसको report करना है, फिर इसको report करना है. Deals ऐसे negotiate होती हैं. So am I learning the ropes? Oh yeah, she's learning the rope, right? So that's great.